Hey YouTube, Eric here. So, I'm in my uh, flipped over road disaster, I mean my Ford F-150. It's a wonderful truck, honest. Uh, and I've got a Creter 6001 code reader hooked up to it. And I've had a check engine light coming on and off here. I cleared the codes. I know it's an oxygen sensor. But I'm kind of playing around with this Creter 6001. Creter is made by Launch. Launch, uh, I have a uh, uh, the Launch Touch Pro and it's uh, like a $500 scan tool and they sent me on out uh, the 6001 and I tell you what it's just playing around with it it's pretty cool so let me show you some of the features so I'm plugged into my OBD port 2 and uh, the first thing that you see is diagnose and I'm gonna say okay I want to diagnose it's going to quick it quickly talks to the ECU and I hit OK again. It says OK. Here's what what the re and I don't have any codes right now because I've cleared them. And but uh, let's look at the data stream. This is kind of cool. And let's view all items. Getting supported data here. Now I've already gone in here and changed it from metric into imperial, so like us dumb Americans can read stuff. Cause like, what's the metric system mean? <laughs> and uh, the engine's slowly cooling up, but it uh, starts to tell us uh, the percentage of load. Now I'm idling in 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 uh, not in gear here, so the load value on the engine's really low. And we just start sniffing around here, and we got. It starts giving us all the live streams that it can. And there are 43 live streams that we can look at. There's also a graphing function in here, which is it's under another menu. Uh, but it allows us to read all the live uh, live data. Like it's 70 degrees is the ambient temperature, and here it says the intake fuel, uh, temperature is 71, right on the button basically. And then we can also speed through these uh, these charts a little faster by hitting the right arrow instead of just the down arrow. So it gives us the live data, which is nice. It also has a recording function, so we can record this live data. I'm going to bail out of this section. And let's look at all the graphic items. The menu system is intuitive. It came with an instruction manual, but I'm a mechanic. I've get to actually read one of those so uh, let's go in here and for example check out the the coolant so it's showing it's at 183 degrees and it's just kind of maintaining I should have done this one while it was while it was warming up let's get into something a little more exciting like an O2 sensor or something Engine RPM, that'll work. Okay. Fords have very accurate uh, engine management systems for maintaining RPM. Now, here's the thing on these Echo Boost engines, they're, and this is the first generation of them, uh, second job ticket, but first generation of them, 2012, they put in a, a much more robust uh, timing chain. So there's some slack that's happening here, and you can see the engine management system fighting to uh, maintain idle here. To the point where even on the RPM gauge, you see that thing tickering around a little bit? It's just twitching around a little bit. I'll know that the time has come for my uh, timing chain to get replaced when this thing starts really varying around or if I hear a rattle on start so so far uh, I haven't had that problem and I'm hoping I don't have to have that problem because it's a hassle of a job at any rate for a, a $60 $70 scan tool I'm telling you this thing's pretty 
pretty dang cool. It's fast. It's faster than my uh, uh, Launch Pro. On the other hand, Launch Pro is based on Android. It has a lot more features that I can do. Uh, like, this doesn't seem to support any ability like, you know, turn off the parking brake, that kind of thing. Uh, uh, that's some of the more advanced uh, features on cars are, are coming with. But for just being able to do a down and dirty scan, this this tool seems to be very easy to use and organized well. So, uh, at any rate, that's what I have to share with you today. See you later, YouTube.